And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 29. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it third and three. You ain't doing nothing today. Set. You ain't doing nothing today. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He fights forward to about the 40. That's, That's a gain, a gain of, two of two on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. From the 40-yard line, second down. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Scoops it up. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. The pressure up front is really what did it. The coverage was good, and maybe it confused him, but it was the heat that forced the bad throw. From the 43-yard line, first down. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Makes it out to about the 36. a great tackle at the 23-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. He heaves it to the end zone, and they intercept it. The junior safety can't wrap him up. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From their own 20-yard line, first down. He's got it with room to run. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten.
from their own 31 yard line. It's second down. And he hits him hard at the 30 yard line. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That makes it third and 11. Caught open field. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42. Makes it to the 47. Gets to about the 31 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. Second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 27. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 23 yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. That'll bring the 32. Blue 19. Blue 19. He's knocked out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. You know, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. We played one. No score here. That'll bring up second and 12. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Oklahoma! Tackle made at the 16-yard line. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. Yeah, there's not much room there for the ball carrier. The safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. He brings it down. Touchdown. So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. And he converts the extra point. So a 12-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Georgia Tech lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll make the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. 
Slides down to the ground. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled right away. Nothing the offense dialed up was enough to get by these guys. They're on right now. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Georgia Tech is up seven. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. They fake the handoff and complete the pass good for six yards. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Tackled at good positive yardage. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 43 the mic. Set, stand hot. They'll knock him down for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. I got you, son. I got you. You're all mine. You're all mine, baby. Set. Oklahoma. He gets rid of this one. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. NC State's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack a defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. And you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Game seven on the play. That will bring up third and two. Hey, here we go. They'll drop him for a loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Oh, excellent punt. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset, and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Georgia Tech up seven points. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Number 11 brings him down at the 49-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Let's put that team on the bus. 43 is the mic. Set, 10, 20. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. North Carolina State just took their first time out. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. 
for New York Giants. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, so people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And they got it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. One minute left in the first half. side nice run to the left there the yellow jackets call a timeout that's their second of the half third and 11 here ball on their own five the yellow jackets using their third and final timeout you know great effort here by the ball carrier but i think they need to pass in that situation most of the time and this one is a beauty He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia Tech is up by a touchdown. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. From the 38-yard line. It's first down. Hudson! Oh, completely stopped immediately. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. 7-0, Georgia Tech. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. NC State's locked up in a tight battle. They are down at the half right now, but you have to remember in football, each play has a life and a history all its own. You can't spend time looking at the scoreboard. And really, I think this team ought to be encouraged rather than discouraged after the way it played in the first half. Well, yeah, Reese, and you talk about each play. There's a couple plays that could have swung this this game the other way and they could be leading at the half right now instead of being down so I don't think you get discouraged whatsoever you've had some success this game is completely within striking distance there is no reason to get down find those things that you did well in the first half continue to go back to them continue to have success make a few more plays in the second half next thing you know you look up and you might be winning this ballgame just about time to start the second half what, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia Tech's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route. But regardless, still great play by the defense. First and 10. Ball on the 29. Georgia Tech is up a score. 
And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Watch the screen! Down! Yeah. Hey! Bruin! Bruin! <laughs> nice run, and he's brought down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down around the 23 yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Georgia Tech is hoping to make this a two score game. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Quick toss. And it's intercepted. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. From there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. From the 36-yard line, first down. Around the 39 yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way, the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Runs outside for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll, That'll make it third, third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. He throws it. That close to being intercepted. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Fires out to his wideout, and they push him out around the 29-yard line. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Going deep, lays it out there. Almost intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. And he hits him hard at the 23-yard line. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. And that'll be three and out.
He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. He's taken down right around the 40. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 48. That makes his third and three. in and he's got a lane and he shoved out of bounds right around the 34. Very intelligent play call dialing up the option on third down and it worked like a charm. We've got a first and ten ball in the 34. made at the 35. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They tackle him there and he's still going to be short. That'll make it fourth and two. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Let's go. 43 in the mic. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Down. 10 right. up, 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 up. Tackled for a loss. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get go. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He wants it all. From their own 27-yard line, second down. a great tackle at the 19. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Booming kick. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Georgia Tech's got a 13-point lead. First down. That was nice. 
into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. The 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a six-play, 54-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Yellow Jackets have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's got an opening. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Here we go! And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. Number 28 makes the tackle up at the 44-yard line. First down. Tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Second down at 14. Ball on the 40-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws a laser across the middle, and he's taken down around the 41-yard line. He's going to air it long. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. Less than three minutes in the game. Once and all, going deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. How much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. It's 
second and nine. Ball on the 40. Nice run there. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. A little over a minute in the game. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He missed it to the left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Slings it. They'll bring him down at about the 41. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. And that just might do it. Intercepted. That's now four extra possessions they've given their own offense with these picks. Think about that. That's a formula that'll win you a lot of ball games. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 39. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's finally tackled at the 11. <laughs> NC State staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.